Hey, what's going on guys? This is gonna be about the third eye and fluoride. Well, fluoride is in your toothpaste. Fluoride is in a lot of food. Fluoride, at some period, we thought it was something healthy. We thought it was something good for the teeth. It's in your toothpaste, like I said. You can go look on a bottle right now. 90% of the, the toothpastes that you're gonna find is gonna have fluoride. And it's funny because they promote it like it's the thing you need to get clean teeth. Now listen, fluoride has been proven over and over and over again that it does nothing for the teeth. In other countries outside of America, they do not use fluoride. In Europe, some places in Europe, they do not use fluoride in their toothpaste. Like I said, once again, remember this, fluoride is poison for the pineal gland. When fluoride enters the body, it attaches itself to the pineal gland and it starts to destroy or uh, calcify the pineal gland. So, for all of you guys that are trying to open their third eye and you always look at these videos on decalcifying the third eye or activating the third eye, you can't activate or open if the third eye, the pineal gland, the physical pineal gland is damaged and calcified. So, stop taking in foods and chemicals like fluoride, chloride, and you're damaging the pineal gland because if the gland itself is not healthy, the energy of the physical, uh, the energy of the third eye is not going to be released so you can use it properly. Many of us know, a lot of us don't know that in most public water there is fluoride and the reason that it is there or it's possible that it could be there is because in your city they will tell you that it's in the water if you go to the water company they'll tell you that it's in the water it's not a secret so they're allowed to put it in and you can go and protest about it i don't know how far you'll get with that i never even thought of or tried to make an attempt to do something like that but I think more people should because it's something that's damaging not just a few people but majority of the world and it's put in place for a specific reason because they know exactly what it does and why do they still give it to us that's a big question and we can all sit here and have our own ideas but when it comes down to it F you're putting things that kill people into their water and their food what are you trying to do besides slow them down or kill them right you're not oops i gotta put this fluoride in there oops it's gonna damage your mind oops i'm gonna do it again and every day and make sure that it's extremely hard for you not to put that fluoride in your system that's the only reason we don't have more enlightened people, more people that's astral projecting, doing fantastic things like healing people, straight walking through walls. This world would be incredible if there wasn't so many, so many ways to slip and fall. So many fast food joints that have fluoride and all sorts of chemicals that just destroy the pineal gland. So yeah guys, stay away from, um, fluoride as much as possible because it's not going to help you it's not going to clean your teeth it's not going to do all the crazy stuff that they said that it does okay now here is the the big thing of this video to stop fluoride you got to use iodine that's one big thing you can use there's a lot of other ways but iodine will help you to recover from the damage. It will help decalcify the pineal gland. And certain iodines will actually prevent fluoride from attacking the pineal gland for as long as you're taking it. So with the combination of that, 
in your regular routine of meditation yoga or any kind of mental practice of stilling the mind this will help you with the speedy recovery of the pineal gland and take you to success doing whatever you're trying to achieve by getting a healthy pineal gland or accessing the third eye thank you for watching my videos and i will be back with another one on the pineal gland and how it is the information center thank you